So creating white stars on a white background probably isn't going to get you any design rewards. So I suggest we start off by doing a dark blue background that mimics the night sky. So let's pick the rectangle tool, create a rectangle from edge to edge, choose a dark blue color and in the layers panel right here, lock the layer. Now create a new layer and on this layer we are going to create our white stars with our star brush. So now to create this star brush, let's pick the ellipse tool and as a fill color, select white. And if you have a stroke color selected, disable the stroke color. So now with our white fill color, hold down the shift key to make a circle and create a tiny circle. Something like this. The exact size isn't important as we are going to adjust this in our brush. So with this tiny circle selected, let's go to our brush panel, go to this button right here that says new brush and click it one time. From here we can select different brush types and for this brush we are going to use the scatter brush. So check the scatter brush and click OK. From here we can design our brush with these different features right here. So first off select all these drop downs and select random. This makes us able to select two different values for all these features. So the first feature which is size lets us select how big the smallest star should be and how big the biggest star should be. So right now both values are 100%. This means that both the smallest stars and the biggest stars in this brush are going to be this exact size. And the spacing defines how much horizontal space we want between our stars. The scatter feature defines how much vertical spacing we want between our stars and the rotation feature is how much rotation we want on our stars. So I will demonstrate these features more clearly in just a moment. But as a starting point for this brush, simply drag all these sliders to the left. And because our brush is a circle, the rotation doesn't do anything for this brush. If it has some kind of shape, it will rotate the shape. And drag these three sliders to the right. And because we don't want any star bigger than this, simply keep the biggest size to 100%. Then click OK. Now we have our brush right here. So let's go to the selection tool and delete this sample object right here. Then select the brush tool, select the brush we just made and paint with the brush all the way across the canvas. Do this all the way down until the canvas is covered. So this is what the brush looks like right away and now we can adjust the brush to make it look exactly how we want. To do this, simply double click the brush and while having the preview button checked, we can now adjust the brush with real time changes so it's much easier to see what all these features are doing in real time. So let's move this window to the side and for this brush, I think the biggest stars are too big. Therefore, we can go to the size slider, choose the right slider over here and simply pull the slider for the biggest stars down a tiny bit. And as you can see right here, the stars are shrinking right away. The same thing can be done with spacing, scatter and rotation. So now let's try to pull down the spacing way too much just to see what it's doing. So choose this slider right here and pull it all the way down. And as we can see right here, that contracts the stars horizontally, so they are getting really close together. This is easy to see if we pull the slider up step by step. So here you can see the stars are spreading as I pull the slider up. I think this is a better spacing. Let's do the same thing for the scatter brush. Pull it all the way down and this leaves us with the exact brush strokes we made without any scatter from the path at all. So let's try to pull the scatter slider up just a tiny bit. We can see that this tiny scattering makes the stars scatter just a tiny bit from the path and ideally we want this to be scattered a lot. So let's just pull this all the way up. You might want different settings than this depending on how close you put the strokes together and also how big you made the first star. When you're done, simply click OK and if you want the new settings to apply to the strokes you already made, simply click apply to strokes. And here you have an awesome star brush. 